TSMC, all the American companies getting money. Dan, what's going on here? Uh, I don't think the T stands for US. By the way, I don't think the U and UMC stands for United States either. <laughs> I don't know who the next uh, company that's going to get money in is, that is not American. So the CHIPS Act was really all about building resiliency for the supply chain, maintaining technology leadership amongst the um, kind of alliance countries in the Western world, meaning everyone that's not China, Russia, <laughs> more or less, but really China. That's the Russia's not doing anything with chips. If you want heating oil, um, you can go to Russia. The... Um, Bottom line of it is, though, is so last week or two weeks ago, Pat, Intel got its award. It was like 11 billion plus. No, it was 8 billion plus another 11 billion in loans. And, you know, who else is getting money? We've seen others getting money. We're hearing Samsung is getting money. Uh, Global Foundries has gotten some money. Um, but TSMC got a big grant award from U.S., uh, 6.6 billion, almost as much as Intel, which to me was kind of wild. And they got another, what, 5 billion more or less in loans. And this is three chip factories that they're going to build in um, three, three chip uh, factories that they're going to build in uh, Phoenix, right? Or, or Arizona. Um, they've had a hard time building these factories, these fabs. It's taken them a long time. Um, and so will this money help them accelerate that? Now, again, I believe, Pat, this is five nanometer is what they're talking about this being, their five nanometer process. Or uh, it's three nanometer. It's two. Right, I'm going to go back. I believe this is their two nanometer process, and um, this is a pretty considerable loan and support for uh, TSMC to get there because beforehand they were really kind of only coming down to what would be kind of an older leading nodes, like seven, um, and they hadn't really executed or built anything here. Here's my take on what happened though, Pat, is um, I think the fabulous companies, while they are willing to consider Intel and starting to work with Intel at the foundry level, I think they are very happy with TSMC. And I think they are generally putting some level of pressure on US uh, regulators and policymakers and those that are d doling out the money to basically make sure TSMC is here for two reasons. One is we want competition in the US for leading edge foundry. And um, two, they wanna continue working with the company they've spent invested heavily in to be able to build their chips. I also think, um, you know, Intel, uh, while I do feel optimistic about their foundry prospects, hasn't really been able to prove yet that it can do the foundry thing at scale. So if we actually wanna execute this leading edge uh, manufacturing here in the US, we need diversification. So that's why I think it was so much money. It ended up being a lot more than expected. It kind of went against the grain of real nationalism. <laughs> now we're having more investment in Samsung and more investment in, in uh, TSMC and even Global Foundries is, is Middle Eastern sovereign money. I mean, but at the same time, it's what they needed to do. So I know we're running quick and we got to keep moving. So my take here is good win for TSMC. Overall, probably good for US that we're going to have a diversification of manufacturing. Kind of a kick in the teeth for Intel. But look, Intel executes. I think Intel's foundry business has a good opportunity. Yeah, so Chips Act, uh, US wants to get 20% of leading edge uh, in the US by 2030. And this is a good... Uh, step in the right direction. Um, listen, more competition is good. <clears throat> it in, increases innovation. It lowers prices, which in the end uh, is is what makes the world go round here. So I'll be honest, it's a little murky at exactly when we're going to see two nanometer uh, in, in Arizona. Uh, I believe that there was some sort of discussion uh, to get this money that would be, okay, you can't be N minus one. And if, if it's truly uh, 2028 before it'll be online, they will be very much behind Intel <laughs> on that. And they'll have two nanometer in Taiwan earlier. So I'm, I'm piecing the dates and the technology together. But one thing that I do know for certain is TSMC hasn't broken ground uh, on their new facility, yet Intel has in in Columbus. And listen, Intel has had fabs in the United States forever. They know how to bring that ecosystem together in the United States. TSMC is less experienced at that in the United States. And quite frankly, there has been some friction uh, with TSMC and, and the unions. I'm going to paraphrase TSMC essentially calling um, 
U.S. workers lazy. And, you know, when you're trying to go for multiple billions of dollars, uh, you know, that just creates a political mess. And I will tell you, having talked to senior executives at every one of their U.S.-based design customers, they cringe and TSMC needs to get its act uh, together. Um, quite Domestically. Frankly. Yeah, domestically, their public posture is very much uh, a monopolist. And when you're on top, and yes, they are on top uh, as uh, as a foundry. But in the end, more competition is better. 